Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. Today we are going to finish off which talks about question making in future simple tense. As usual, we're going to start reviewing the learning objectives of the lesson. Number one is to let our students know how to write the grammatically correct questions in the future simple tense. Two is to teach our students how to use the proper WH words when making questions, of course, in this tense. The rule reads as follows. We start with the WH word and then we have the auxiliary verb, which is usually will. Then we have the subject, the verb in its base form or in its verb, uh, in its first form. Here we have an example. What will she study in Canada? We can see that the WH word is what, the auxiliary verb is will, the subject is she, verb one is study, and in Canada is a complement. And of course, we do not forget the question mark. Now, the auxiliary verb in simple future tense is always will so this is very important whatever pronouns you are using we use will whether you have he she it you we they or even I we use the same auxiliary verb which is will now let's start to make questions to ask about the underlined words sentence number one he will come late because he is ill if you want to ask about uh, the reason for not being able to come early we say why because we use why to ask about reason why will he the subject come late and question mark again they will buy a new car next week so we are asking about a new car which is a thing and when we ask about things we use what so it becomes what will they by next week okay I think these examples are good examples we have more examples now and we are asked to put these words in the right order to make questions let's start with the first one we start with the WH word when and then we use the auxiliary verb when will and then the subject when will he and then the verb one when will he see me and this is of course not existent okay because it is going to be the answer number two we start with we will not tell anyone about the secret and of course this is not a question it is a statement so we put a full stop so in number one we have a question and we started with the WH word but here this is a statement it is a sentence hope you've all benefited from this lesson thank you very much for your careful listening